Yo, man, peace, family. What's poppin', man? And I'm about to read the game of life, man. My new book out on Amazon, man. Tap in with me, man. The game of life. <coughs> game. A form of play or sport, especially a competitive one. Played according to rules and decided by skill, strength, or luck. Life is a spiritual game to be played. The quicker one begins to thoroughly understand this concept, the easier life becomes. Life itself won't become easier, but understanding how to navigate through life will become easier. Because the truth is, life will not always be easy. Then again, it won't always be hard. Life is about balance. You will face adversities. You will be at your lowest. This is normal. But we are not taught these concepts. As a, result, as a result, we gain depression. We lose the will to play the game. You are a player in this game. This book will have a section for you to thoroughly explain this concept in teaching. All of it will, all of it will tie into spirituality. It's up to you to connect the dots. Everything is self-understanding. Sometimes it's up to people to get the message. You can't force anything. When it's one, it's one's time to understand, thus it shall be. <clears throat> okay. In the game of life. Yeah. My purpose in writing this book is to inform my neuromelanated people. This book will give you many keys to unlocking different levels of thought and self. This book will be used as a tool to educate those who wish to learn more or learn something new. Information is infinite. In no way is this book intended to misguide or degrade neuromelanated people. I am a neuromelanated being myself. Everything in this book I had to learn myself the hard way. <clears throat> what is life? Life. The acronym of life is living and innovative, fortunate existence. Meaning you are a living organism. Your mission is to innovate, create, and evolve. You got to realize in this world, your mission is to really manifest and destroy, create and destroy. Destroying is not really a bad thing as people make it seem to be. Like Sometimes it's all about intent. What is your intent in doing something? If you want to destroy somebody's life and be evil and benevolent, then yes. that's. But if you're destroying things to build new ones, let's say, is negative trauma you got destroy that trauma and create a new yourself you know what i'm saying it's all about creating and destroying <clears throat> yes it could be sometimes physical but it's all about the spiritual at the end of the day like in your life man you don't want to be you want to create and destroy in your life you don't want to sit in here and just keep creating because with creation comes destruction so you got to be aware of how you manifest what you got to destroy like if you want to be if you want to create a new self you gotta destroy your old self. You know what I'm saying? It all goes hand in hand. If you wanna make a change in your life, man, you gotta do the work. And even I have to learn, I have to destroy my old self. You know what I'm saying? I have to destroy my old self to become who I am today. And I still got levels to go. That's the thing. So even later in life, I'm gonna have to destroy this older version of me and it becomes somebody else. It's like it's all a it's all a uh it's all a journey, man. So also your mission is to destroy. You must to create, you must destroy. To destroy is to create. Look at that. Whether you create something internally or externally, everything is create is a creation. But that is just one aspect of life. There are levels to life. Life is also about self-mastery, growth, character development, and change. In this life, you must enhance and grow your soul. You must learn. You must acquire new skills and intelligence. If you aren't learning or educating yourself, you are staying stuck in a certain level of thought. But when it comes to learning, you can learn from good and bad experiences. That's one thing you got to realize. Everything, like, good and bad is a perspective. Like, good and bad is just a perspective thing. I might think this kid is bad, but the next person might think this kid is good. Like, it's all about perspective. Perspective. So in in life, bro, like your experiences might not always be bad and might not might always be good. It's all about your perspective and how you perceive things. This is why perspective is so important because you know every you know having a certain outlook on life is gonna shape it. You know what I'm saying? So you don't wanna 
look at certain experiences to be like, oh, this was bad. I don't want to experience it. Think about all the negative stuff you've been through in life. And you became a greater person because you went through them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about. So it's all about your life. What's up? Wait, 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 with the cookie? All right, y'all can go clean it up for your mom. See you. Y'all get in trouble. Okay. You already know what's going to happen if you don't uh, do your, do what you got to do. All right, so so life life is all about experience and perception and how you build off of things. So it is important to instance because life is all about balance. You must always have good you must have good moments and bad moments. It isn't healthy to have a one sided scale. You must learn from both sides of the same coin. See everything see everything as a learning experience. When you do this, you don't take everything to heart. You shouldn't take everything so heavy. We all have emotions. You will be happy, cry, and all of the above. Embrace your emotions. Motion or emotion is derived from the Latin word emovia. So, basically in life, bro, it's all about growing your character, growth, and mastering yourself. And it's a long journey. You're going to be learning to the day you die. Like, and you might think you got this certain ideology of how to do things, but then it's like something, going to, might, something might happen for you to change your level of thought like you never understand like you never know that's why with life man you just gotta it's just cruising man with life you gotta cruise with life you gotta learn you gotta grow you gotta go through the hard stuff you gotta that's why you gotta be open to different experiences because these different experiences that you might fear from might help you that's why it's, that's why you don't want to always be comfortable because if you're always comfortable if you're always comfortable, you're not growing. You got to sometimes be uncomfortable to grow. And you might go through something negative, but, you know, you're going to have to grow. You got to grow regardless. Like, you got to, you don't want to stay stuck, man. You want to keep elevating. You want to keep growing within yourself. You want to keep pushing yourself forward. You want to heal, man. You don't want to sit there. And, and like I said, some things will be hard, but then you could probably look back and be like, dang, I'm glad I learned that. You feel me? You, I'm glad I learned that. That's why you got to, with life, man, you got to keep pushing. You got to keep going. You know, stop letting these negative experiences in your life stop you from trying to do something new. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting these negative experiences in your life stop you from becoming the better version of yourself. All right, I'm about to pick another part to read. I don't want to read everything and then spoil the whole book. Like, you know me? Um, uh, emotional control. Balance is even distribution. Balance is very important in the universe, masculine and feminine. For one to explore oneself, one needs to balance oneself. If a couple were to have a child, this child must learn from both parents. <clears throat> both energies are important for the child to experience and learn from. Parents are supposed to teach. It is difficult to raise a child alone. Both people are required. If the child is only raised from one side, they will most likely grow up unbalanced. This will cause them to make poor life decisions. Huh, what I'm reading? What's up? Hey, what? Hmm. Why are you making a mess with the cookie? All right. Uh, can, you, can you go see if the belt is in my room? Or mommy room? The yin and yang has two sides to it. I put slides. <laughs> Type up. You look, look, yin and yang. One... Go, uh, did you make a mess of the cookies? Yeah, Dad, we broke them up. Okay, uh, go clean them up. Let's make up. You go clean them up. If you make the mess, you clean it up. Who made, who, who made the mess? No, me and Miguel. Me and Miguel. Me and Miguel. Hurry me. <laughs> no, I ate the cookie. Who is this? May you eat with your hands, too. Black cookie. White cookie. Okay, so so who made the met the mess of the cookies? Wompy, 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 wompy,
So, so you made the mess? Yes, yeah, he did. Yes, yeah, he did. He did. So did you make the mess? Yeah. Did she make the mess or she ate her cookies? I had cookies. Okay, go go clean it up. Go clean it up. Okay. And go uh go watch him. Make sure he's cleaning up the mess. Okay. And let me know if he do it or not. Okay. Back to reading. Okay, so remember this yin and yang, man. Yin and yang. Okay, so understand that you have a good and bad side. Huh? Alright. Uh, you have a good and bad side, light and dark. You have two versions of you. You have to understand when it is necessary to use whichever one, as we discussed earlier. Everything must be at a balance in your existence, even your interaction with people. Eventually, you will get tired of certain people. Don't let your energy be too available. When you do, people begin to take advantage of you. This is where energy vampires come in. And come in. Be careful with energy vampires, man. Energy vampires, bro. Energy vampires will suck your energy dry. Like it's sad. Like when well, it's not sad because energy vampires need company. But misery loves company. Like I'm gonna just be real. Like you can help energy vampires, but then it's like you can't always help them because they gotta heal within themselves and they're looking for somebody else to fill that gap but you can't fill nobody's gap because you lose a part of yourself imagine you having a piece of cornbread and you take off a piece to help somebody else then you take from yourself like at the end of the day it's like it's good to help people it's good to be polite it's good to be there for people but then again you can't you can't save nobody you can't be nobody's savior if somebody got a, a drug addiction you can say everything you can uh, stop doing this. Stop it. Stop it. This is what it's going to do to you. You can tell them the whole science of what this drug will do to them and try to tell them. But if they don't stop, then there's nothing you can do. I have to learn that the hard way in my life. Like, everybody going to do what they want to do, man. If you, they, if you could you could have, you could feel like you got all the answers, bro, to healing somebody. But if they don't want to do that, the inner work, bro, you can't do nothing for them, man. All you can do is, you know what I'm saying? That's why when it comes to energy vampires, you don't want to lock your energy with them because, man, they're going to drain your energy dry, man. They're going to suck your energy dry. You're going to, and then you're going to be just sitting there depressed. I had to deal with it before. I was helping an energy vampire when he was at this bad vibration. Then I got depressed myself. And I'm like, damn, why am I depressed? And it all clicked. Like, it's because of him. So you got to be careful who you talk to. But sometimes they just need help, which is true. Genuine help. But we have to keep in mind that you cannot save everyone. The only person you can save is yourself. It's true, though. Some people only come to you to take your energy and distract you. Stay aware, stay aware of these folks. Energy vampires are people who come in your life and suck away all of your energy. These people can come in the form of depressed individuals, negative individuals, people who are always in drama, or people who always want to do low vibrational things. Useless things. Or people who always have problems but never solve them. It's okay to help people come help certain people for here and there but are you helping yourself you come first people's problems are not yours but but your sanity first people's problems are not yours peace first help yourself because trust me nobody will help you like you will help yourself you're important balance everything out in life life is about balance man like also in that section man you don't like you don't want to be like in life man you don't want to be like you don't want to be a good person to everybody. Like, everybody do not deserve that side of you. Like, that's one thing I had to realize. Like, you, in this life, you want to be nice to everybody. You want to, but everybody can't get that side of you, bro. Like, I be wanting to be nice. I be wanting to be all, you know what I'm saying, whoop de whoop. But it's like, at the end of the day, you can't be nice to everybody because people take you for granted. People are going to try to use you, manipulate you. So with certain people, you got to just be on point. You got you to gotta watch them. You got to not give them things. Like I used to give away all my money to people for until I realized, like, dang, this person using me. And I'm at a point in time where I'm not giving nobody my money. It's like, like man, it's, it's just a sad world we live in, man. People, people like, it's a world where it's evil in this world. And you got to be evil with it to a degree because... People gonna try to take advantage of you, kill you, all that, man. So you want to just, in this life, man, you don't want to be, you don't want to be, like, you don't want to be too nice, man. Like, it's just being real, man. You don't want to be too nice to people. You don't want to give everybody your energy, man. You want to stay on your own lane, man. You just got to be careful. This world we live in is really the, is Hades. Like, we're in Hades right now. 
But if, if you like this, man, tap in, man. Like, subscribe. You feel me? Do everything you got to do. I love y'all, man. Peace, peace, peace.